Again, here are a group of words that look confusing, but are actually easy to pronounce when you know how. There would, could, and should. There are three things that you need to watch out for when pronouncing these words. The first thing is that the L is silent. Notice that would, W-O-U-L-D, is pronounced exactly the same as would, W-O-O-D. So in addition to would, could, and should, there are other words that also have a silent L. For example, we have walk, talk, and stock, half, and calf, folk, or folks, and yoke, salmon, and the last name Lincoln. Then there are some words in English that may have a silent L, but that you may also pronounce that L. There are two acceptable pronunciations for these words. And here they are. Calm, palm, balm, and almond. Many people do not pronounce the L in these words, but you'll notice that I do. Both ways are perfectly acceptable. Now let's get back to would, could, and should. The second thing you need to be careful with in these words is the vowel sound. The OU in these words is pronounced like the OO in the words book and good. Now let me show you exactly how to position your mouth to pronounce this sound correctly. First, you'll want to make sure that your mouth is somewhat open. You'll want to loosely round your lips. Your tongue tip should be down, but your whole tongue is pulled back from your front teeth, as so. And this is a lax sound, which means all the muscles of your face, your jaw, your tongue should be relaxed as you pronounce this sound. Uh. Uh. And finally, the last thing to be aware of with would, could, and should is to make sure that you pronounce the final D sound in the word. Your language may not end words with this sound, but in English it is very important. Now let's put all of this together and pronounce the words. Wood. Wood. Could, could, should, should, and that's all there is to it.